Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope everybody will be fine. Today in this video lecture, I will guide you for correct way of steel reinforcement in the construction of RCC slab. So therefore watch this video till the end. Let's start guys. You can see here guys. This is RCC slab. We have main bars and distribution bars. This is main bar and this is distribution bars. Spacing is 5 by 5 inches die of steel rod is same which is 12 mm or 4 suture on both way main bars and distribution bars die is 12 millimeter now guys you can see the extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment and we provide on the top of beam you can see inside beam and also on the top of beam we provide extra steel rods are bent up bar but guys here you can see these are extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment guys you can see clearly to the distance of five inches guys you can see clearly actually uh, to resist negative bending moment we will provide crank bar or bent up bar on the distance of L by 4. Now guys you can see this is the junction between beam and column. You can see the extra steel rods as well as. So they will provide also some other lengths on the top of this. Because we have on 10 inch distance center to center. Same like this. Then the distance will be. Our spacing will be 5 by 5 inches. So guys, this is actually double mesh. So double mesh is very important, especially in the construction of RCC slab. As you can see, the left side will be same like right side. They will provide the other steel rods with the distance of or with the spacing of 5 inches. As you can see, this is the other beam. On the top of this beam, you can see the extra steel rods with the spacing of 5 inches when we provide the extra steel rods are bent up bar so it increase the strength of the slab it avoid the negative bending moment at the mid of the slab we have positive bending moment at the end of the support we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we should provide extra rods or bent up bar but bent up bar is our crank bar is uh, economical compared to extra steel rods so i recommend you try to provide a uh, crank bar but if you provide uh, extra steel rods so that is more better than crank bar because this is expensive this uh, method which they did in this construction guys you can see on each beam you will see the crank uh, the extra steel rods guys you can see the junction on the junction we have also steel rods as you can see here also guys they will provide the extra steel rods because here we have some uh, cantilever beam So guys this is the correct way of main bars distribution bars but you can't see any concrete cover so they will provide concrete cover after placing steel reinforcement they will up the mesh and they will provide the concrete cover which should be 25 to 40 mm thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye